Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Johnny Quest. Johnny Quest. Don't, don't. Johnny Quest. 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 Johnny
with methamphetamines in the same dresser and other drug paraphernalia. So I only have one thing to say. Hide your gun. Hide your meth. And finally, hold on. And finally we have this. A Cleveland man finishes his beer as officers arresting him for open container on Wednesday, according to the police report. Michael Bear, 50, of Cleveland, was sitting on a park bench in Ellie Park off Broad Street and having a beer. According to the report, Blair was highly intoxicated and was drinking a half-finished 22-ounce can of Milwaukee's best beer. Great stuff, by the way. The report stated, officers noted in the report that Blair had already been cited several times in the past week for open containers and disorderly conduct. The report states that the arresting officer knocked over Blair's can of beer and began writing the citation. Blair then picked up the can of beer, finished what was left of it, and tossed it over his head, according to the report. Blair was charged with open container, disorderly conduct, and littering. He was also taken to the Elry Police Department and booked there. So, we give him this much. At least, he wasn't abusing alcohol. And if I'm going to compensate here, if you're going to get busted, go all the way, not halfway. So, Mr. Blair, here's to you. In a moped race, cause I'm in it for the money and the thrill of the chase. Relaxing on yachts that were bought by rich men, drinking soda pop. Okay, so how is it going? Um, on my way home, thought I would talk to you guys for a little bit um, for the blog segment of the show. Been trying to lose some weight. Um, when I went to the doctors in November, I weighed almost 300 pounds. Um, lost like five pounds up till about a month and a half ago and then uh, people at work decided to have a weight loss challenge and I'm like that's the motivation I need because I need to lose See, I, I'm obese to be perfectly honest with everybody I'm obese um, I'd like to get down to around 200 I lost about during that weight loss challenge I lost um, Probably like 17 pounds and down about 25 total since um, the trip in November to the doctor. Um, there's these internet things that go around and <clears throat> they get popular for some weird reason. I'm not talking about like stupid sayings like pwned or um, anything like that or squirrel aids or money that I'm talking about like this retarded planking thing it's just dumb you know you're really not doing anything other than laying perfectly flat on something do shit I, it, it's kind of funny when you do it in weird places but just laying on the ground and usually there's no one around or anything like that so it's, it's just dumb then apparently there's this new thing called owling where you sit like perched on something like an owl while well, slightly more talent involved you know by uh, you know crouching keeping your balance still kind of dumb now my family had a, my extended family, my extended family and I had a, um, not drama, 
and not really a rough time, but a slightly difficult time. My 20 year old cousin, she had to have open heart surgery to repair, uh, I believe her aortic valve or one of her heart valves. Um, and my mom and my brother uh, went out and actually so did my sister to Chicago to you know, visit and be there for support. I unfortunately don't really have much time during this part of the year to take off uh, if I want a vacation down the road because I took a long vacation from my honeymoon. Used up more vacation than I had, so it's slowly building back up. But we took this other trend and ran with it for a few days. And I think it was mostly just kind of a stress relief, or relief kind of thing. Um, what we were doing is called lamping. It's very similar to, to planking and owling where you're doing something in an odd situation. Um, what it is, and I'll put pictures up over this so you can see it, is wearing a lampshade on your head in just random locations. Uh, it started with my mom. My brother posted a picture of my mom wearing a lampshade on her head. I don't think we created this. Apparently they found it on Good Morning America or something while they were out there. And <clears throat> so she decided to do it. Um, then later that evening, uh, we were at, uh, me and Paula were at Bed Bath & Beyond looking for some stuff and you know she put one on her head and I took a picture of her uh, then we went to um, TJ Maxx and I did it as well then my brother and my aunt posted a picture like the next day and it was just kind of a funny thing it's still stupid and retarded but you know, it kind of kept things light and it's pretty serious time and now it's time for the wet video of the week. This one's not quite viral, but it's very interesting. This guy wanted to know how much you can get away with at an Apple store. And it's amazing. I've seen all kinds of crazy stuff. People making vlogs at the Apple store on the computer, dancing, doing all kinds of crazy shit, checking their email for an hour, you know, and just check out the video. Start off, I wanted to see if the Apple store would allow me to have a pizza delivered. Oh, awesome. Oh, hi. My iPhone is broken. I was wondering if you could be of assistance. Okay. So anyway, that's all for Send Me Back My Edge Sketch this week. Come back next week. We'll have all kinds of new things going on. We got a couple segments we're working on. Um, maybe the wife will show up in a few episodes. Who knows? But check it out. Um, I don't have all the emails and shit in place, so I'm not going to put that on this episode. But um, I'll put it in the links so if you want to email the show. Actually, I, there will be an email address. I just don't have it yet. Um, thanks for watching. You guys rock. Tell a friend if you liked it. Uh, tell a friend if you don't like it. Maybe they'll like it. Who knows? But keep watching.